1998, you had said you had met up with John Freddie and you, you're the alternate bout on a four man tournament. Yeah. So you fight Courtney Turner. <clears throat> yeah, Courtney was a supposed to be a Luca Libre guy from Brazil, but it was actually out of Louisiana. And uh, he was a little six different. Three. What's that? That's a little different. <laughs> yeah. He was 6'3 <laughs> uh, in the 170 division, real long, real lanky, and uh, kind of was talking shit at the at the UFC press conference and the weigh-ins and stuff. And I beat him in a probably a minute 20 or something, minute and a half. And this John 420. Played. But but yeah, the records they, it might be yeah, wrong. Yeah, I couldn't find any video yeah. on it. I couldn't find anything. Yeah, it used to, I had a copy that got stolen from my gym. The UFC has it somewhere, but it's not on Fight Pass for some reason. Um, it was a good fight for me. I, I got a takedown. Uh, he rolled. I went to a heel hook. Missed the heel hook. Came up to a guillotine. As his head came out of the guillotine, I, I armbarred him. And he punched me once while I was armbarring him. That was it. And it happened. It was so fast, man. And then Freddie comes backstage. He goes, a lot tougher than you fought, huh? And I was like, bro, it was less than two minutes. Like, how tough? No. You know? <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, sure. Does that make you feel yeah. better? <laughs> so, <laughs> in a four-man tournament, you assume you're not coming in, right? You assume you're not going to fight. And you're so, the alternate. Yes. Yeah. So I got my fight out of the way. I'm up in the stands eating a hot dog, chilling, watching Mikey Burnett and Eugenio Tadal murder each other, but more Mikey murder him. And uh, as it's going on and on and on and on, I'm like, man, he might not continue even if he wins. And uh, so I put my stuff down and, and my food down, and I start going back downstairs. Well, as I go into the tunnel in the back to go back to the locker room, Freddie's running down the hall, Brennan, start warming up. And I was like, oh, shit. All right, I'm in. And then as I'm warming up, I'm like, god damn it, it's Militich again, man. At that point, I was bummed that it was Pat because I would have much rather fought any of the other guys in the in the tournament and uh, got somebody new, you know, but it was it was me and Pat again, and that's how it worked out. Well, well he, he, go ahead, Miguel. I, I was at that show. Do you remember Militich suffering through the weigh-ins? Why don't you tell, oh, man. tell your perspective on that? Yeah, I was excited for that because so the first two times we fought, we fought walking in at 185. That was just our walking weight. And uh, there was no there was no weight cut. There was nothing. And, and we fought that weight. I took the tournament at 170. We're like, all right, you know, so I didn't wrestle. I was walking and training at 170 for a month before that fight. I just I got to the weight and, and hung out there and didn't realize it, didn't know better. I showed up to the UFC to the weigh in. And they were, I mean, he was dying, man. They were carrying him to the to the scale. And I'm like, oh man, we've been we've been dead even strength wise. I said, like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him this time. <laughs> mm -hmm. The next night I came back, I was still 170. He was about 185, 188, somewhere in that, you know, close <laughs> to 190. And uh I was I was still 170 pounds and that for the first time. And you know, we went we went 20 minutes and we went 30 minutes. And and he didn't seem much stronger to me. He seemed he was a better wrestler. He didn't seem much stronger. Well, that night, you know, he was much stronger, much you know, way stronger than me. And I was like, holy smokes! You know, from that point on, I kind of mastered the the whole weight cut thing. But that was the first time in my life that I was like, oh, that makes a huge difference. <laughs> <laughs> what had to cage when he got in the cage? I looked at him I'm like, man, he was way better than he did yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.